While we keep a wary eye on the weather, we're also taking a close look at school preparedness. Many schools held tornado drills statewide today, and News Channel 9's Alyssa Sperato joins us now live with how one local school looked outside the box to get the money needed to build some extra safe space. Alyssa. Good evening, Calvin and Latricia. Now, if you don't already know, this week is Tennessee Severe Weather Awareness Week. So schools all over the state, including this one here, DuPont Elementary, took part in tornado drills all day today. So we wanted to see exactly how prepared schools were for this upcoming possible severe weather, and our search landed us in Charleston at Middle Valley High School. Tell me a little bit about this building. This building is uh, brought to us through a FEMA grant. It's going to add eight classrooms to our existing school. And the unique part of this part of the building is it's all safe rooms. It's all concrete from top to bottom. So it's a great opportunity for our kids to be safe in storms. It may look like your ordinary school building on the outside, but inside. It could soon be one of the safest schools in Bradley County. These are, these are just standard classrooms. And you can see when you go into the room, the heat and air units on the inside of the building. Nothing on the outside. That's part of the safety feature of a storm safe building. The walls are solid concrete from top to bottom, making the structure durable enough to withstand an EF4 tornado and 250 mile per hour sustained winds. As for these windows, they're strong enough to withstand a two by four hitting them at 100 miles per hour. That's not all. Each of the eight classrooms is equipped with this panic alert system. The teacher has a remote that's with them. So if there's an emergency of some kind, they can alert us in the office. It'll tell us what room it's in. If the power goes out, a backup system kicks in for electricity. The new building is welcome news for students at Walker Valley High. I didn't really know like what we would do if that happened, but now I know that there's like a certain place that we can go and be safe. Yeah, I was pretty excited um, because, you know, with the storms that came through last time, they were pretty devastating in some areas. And uh, in the case of another storm coming through, we'll all be safe and we'll all be a lot, you know, a lot safer here. Walker Valley High School principal Danny Coggin says he hopes to have that open just at the end of March in just a little under a month. In the meantime, I spoke with other local schools and middle and elementary lat earlier on this morning, and they tell me they're planning to take part in the Tennessee Severe Weather Awareness Week, and they will be doing those tornado drills at the end of this week. Reporting live in Chattanooga, Alyssa Sperato, News Channel 9. Thanks, Alyssa. And we do want to remind you at home that if, when severe weather is in the forecast, you can always depend on the Storm Track 9 weather app to keep you updated. Just look for WTVCWX in your app store.